All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. So what do you look forward to as a 20 year older? I want to get married. Hmm. Interesting. That's good. Congratulations. No, I, haven't, I don't have a bride yet. Hmm? I mean, I do have a bride. Or maybe brides. But I want one person. Just, just one. Okay, um, I'm lost. I don't, I don't understand. I'm dating three women. You're dating three women? Yes, but like I said, I'm trying to fix it. How? That's why I want to talk to my mom. You are dating three women and you intend marrying only one. That's the issue. I don't know who to marry. Bring them over. So I, should, I should bring them here? Yes. <laughs> mom, that's like World War Four. I want to spend it with them and listen, Charles. I must say that you should bring the three of them at once. Yes, bring your women one after the other. Oh. Accept the fact that you dragged three women into a relationship. I already admitted that. And bringing them to your house to figure out who is perfect for marriage is so, so faithful, sexist. Right? Hmm. You didn't mean to cause any harm, but you're dating three women at the same time. I said it. I knew you were cheating on me. This old hag here. Hey, holy. She used her mouth to confess. And you poor were busy treating me like a mad woman. Where are you? Wait, oh. So after all the hard work I did in this house, forming good wife, cooking, cleaning, washing, you still had the audacity to cheat on me. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean any harm. I'm sorry for putting you in this mess. Charles, we forgive you. Just go ahead and tell us who is going to wear this ring. Where is the ring, Seth? Yeah. But I first see. Huh? I'm not proposing to anybody. Hey! Wahala! Alright guys, so let's talk about this one, Virgin at 34. And it really boils down to, you know, a man trying to find a wife and there's three people that he's dating at the same time. Now, you know, this love thing is funny because I definitely understand him trying to figure out who he should marry out of the three. You see, the problem with when you bring three people and you're trying to cope, pair them side by side is that you are really not going to get the essence of anybody you know you are looking at things from face value and from that face value you don't know who is really deep about what they're doing and who is not yes you might be able to notice that this person doesn't know how to cook or that the other person can cook but um they don't know how to this do this other thing but all those are facial now the true essence of the person that you want to marry is deeper than just how good they can cook. Keep in mind, uh, if somebody is willing to learn, you know, they could learn to be a chef. You know, people go into schools for these like later in life, you know, although they used to still be able to put things together to eat, you know. So I feel like the man to have accomplished, done a better job, probably should have taken a different approach. In my opinion, this should have been something like, you know, dating one at a time. And when you date one at a time, you have the time to really, you know, understand the person, form real connection. Real connections that's gonna help you know how you feel about the person, besides what they do but you know how you guys bond how you guys vibe how things feel when it comes to emotional connection you know when you're dating people one at a time you tend to see this you tend to feel this when you're dating three people at the same time and you're trying to throw connections together or you know throw comparisons together it's never really <laughs> it's never really the same because you yourself are looking at it from as an outsider you are not forming any connection with these people because you are kind of keeping your heart to decide who you should fall in love with that part of the falling in love is an essential component that you are not going to get to explore because you are keeping yourself out of the equation you are keeping all your emotions in check so there's you know, no connectivity. You might even end up meeting somebody and then the person you feel like has the best qualities 
you will now realize that you don't have any emotional connection to that particular person. You know, so it's a catch-22. Um, I don't think, you know, pulling girls together and then throwing them at each other to find out who has the best character is the way to go. I understand when somebody is ready and they're ready and they just want to, you know, you know, cock the guns and jump in with both legs. I understand that. And if that's your case, it's, it's what it is. But, you know, I feel like the better way to find a great companion requires that you date one person at a time and, you know, really give the relationship time. So even if they're not good at this, you know, you will be able to see all these other qualities that they are good at. And then you can observe within yourself if you feel like any of the bad qualities that they have could be ignored, you know, especially when you see a lot of good in them. And, you know, if it doesn't work out or you look at it and that's not the best, then of course, you know, discontinue that relationship and, you know, maybe, you know, look for somebody else. Look for somebody else that you'll also observe on a solo basis. And, you know, I feel like that's the best way to find somebody that you will be able to connect to totally. And, you know, that's about it for this one, guys. If you guys feel like there's a different approach to this that could be explored, you know, feel free to share. Always uh, willing for all our viewers to hear other opinions, you know, so share it in the comment section. Again, if you love this kind of content, please you know, like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Magnetic Studios and I'm here to deliver.